All right, and now we look at question nine. They say the diagram represents a simple generator. The coil is rotated in an anti-clockwise direction. Okay, and they say, does the diagram represent an AC or DC generator? All right, so please note, we are seeing there we've got uh, slip rings, right? So that, that definitely does tell us that we've got an AC generator, okay? And they said, suggest a reason, okay, because we use slip rings are used, right? I must admit, though, uh, this uh, this diagram, I'm not sure if it's just me, but it, it's really not the best of diagrams. So, I mean, I'm struggling between, you know, just having to tell. But nonetheless, it, it is slip rings uh, that are used. Okay. Right. Now, they say state the energy conversion that takes place in this generator. Now, remember that generators convert mechanical energy right to e uh, electrical energy mechanical energy to electrical energy all right now they say for the parts labeled a and b in the diagram write down their name okay so remember these are these are brushes okay um, and in uh, they say they are function so remember that they uh, connect you know the armature to the external circuit so this is for uh, electrical current to flow uh, to the external circuit right right so in that case, that's the function of those brushes. So they just allow current to flow, right? In fact, you could have just said, said that. So they say the part of the coil is about to move upwards. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, and they say as soon as it moves upwards, will the induced current flow from X to Y or from Y to X? Now, so they're saying this portion here is about to move upwards. And remember, this is anti-clockwise. So which means your thumb should be pointing upwards, right? But now remember your electric field, rather your magnetic field is always north to south, right? So which means that your index finger should be pointing in that direction. And you'll see if you place them at right hand to each other, you'll see that your second finger therefore would point uh, in that direction. Okay, right. So uh, sorry for my diagram. As I did say, guys, that sure, I suck at this thing. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing right now. But yeah, I'm trying to show that it will actually point uh, from X to Y. So our answer there is X to Y. Okay. Right, and then they say to us, the peak voltage supplied by this generator is 120 volts. Okay, they say in the position that the coil is shown, is the output voltage 0, 85, or 120? All right, now, um, remember that the peak voltage will only be experienced when, you know, the, uh, the current is actually perpendicular to the, uh, to the field, right? or rather when the armature is perpendicular to the field, uh, and of course minimum when it's parallel. But this time around, I think it's somewhere in between. I, look, I, as I said, I'm struggling with this drawing, uh, but I think it's somewhere in between, and in, in which case uh, it will be between 0 and 120, so I will pick 85 volts. Okay. Right, and then um, they say to us, the RMS value of the current supplied to the external circuit is 1.2 amperes, right? And they want you to define RMS uh, for an alternating current. Hey, guys, I'm struggling with this uh, definition for uh, RMS. Please go and look at it and make sure that you answer it, okay? Right, uh, I'll skip that one for now. 
okay and they say to us calculate the average power uh, the average power output of the generator now we've got uh, remember we are given there right the rms current and they had given us the peak voltage right so we know that firstly we need to find out what is our rms voltage right so we're going to say v rms will be v max divided by the square root of 2 that's 120 divided by root 2 okay uh, and by the way we don't need to necessarily uh, work through that one uh, divided by square root 2 okay so that gives us 84.853 right okay i'm going to leave it like that so but now we're looking for the average power that means that's v rms multiplied by i rms okay v rms is 120 over square root 2 and i rms this is 1.2 it was given there right and so we just simply multiply that by 1.2 and that will give us 101 okay so that value there is 101.82 okay and please remember that power is measured in watts okay right and that is how we come to the end of this question right we are gonna go to the next one as we conclude